Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so recently, my channel has gotten a lot of traction and I have a few more subscribers than normal. So I just kind of wanted to do a quick little about me, get to know me video for, um, well, for all the current subscribers that I had um, like prior to like two weeks ago. I never really did that um, because mostly I think the people watching my videos were people already knew, but, you know, like friends and family and stuff like that. Um, but I thought I would do a kind of, you know, just an a, about me type video uh, for all the new subscribers. I have, uh, just so you know a little bit more about me and the, my channel and kind of, um, yeah, just <laughs> get to know me, all that kind of thing. So anyways, if that is something that you want to uh, see, then just keep watching. Okay, so this might be a little bit all over the place. I don't have like an outline or anything. I'm just going to kind of start <clears throat> with some general basics. So um, I am from Montana. I lived or I grew up on a cattle farm and ranch. Um, that's what my dad does um, in like central Montana. Yeah, born and raised. Um, went to the same school, kindergarten through uh, my senior year of high school and then went to college in Bozeman, Montana, where I got a degree in interior design. So that is a, uh, I guess, a passion of mine. Um, and after I graduated, I worked at an architecture firm back home uh, for four years. And in between that time period, I met my husband who was stationed um, at Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana and he is from the Nashville area. So we met, uh, got engaged and got married and then about a year after we were married we moved to the Nashville area to be closer to his family for for this just little period of time in our lives. So we currently live in the greater Nashville area and we spent a first year there we're here renting and then we recently bought and moved into the current house we're in so if you see there's like I guess there'll be three different homes you might see in my videos like first our home in Montana um, the rental we ha lived in and then now our current home um, <clears throat> so I don't work uh, as an interior designer anymore when we first moved here um, we only had one vehicle and we I mean we currently only have one vehicle and my husband had a job lined out so he worked like he drove that vehicle to work so I just stayed at home uh, and then I got a job a stay-at-home job with the same company that he works for and I did that up until uh, November um, but I'm not going to go back to that job. It's just, it was admin type work and that's just not for me. Um, but kind of backtracking a little bit, um, when we were in that rental is when we, uh, got pregnant, which was so exciting. So we have a almost four month old little boy. Uh, his name is Ellis and he's just the happiest sweetest boy in the whole world <laughs> I'm sure every parent says that about their child um, but he's just very rarely is he upset or cranky or anything just when he wants food pretty much that's the only time he's upset uh, recently he hasn't loved if he feels that he's left alone in a room like if I'm in the kitchen he's in the living room which is just right here we have a open floor plan in our house but if he can't see somebody, he doesn't love it. Uh, sometimes he's okay, sometimes he's not, but that's really the only two times he's cranky. Let's see, what else? When I was 24 weeks pregnant with him, which was exciting, we didn't know what we were having, which I highly recommend waiting until your baby is born. That was one of the most special moments. Um, <clears throat> But when I was 24 weeks pregnant, uh, 
I wasn't feeling well one day. I have a whole video on this, uh, or one evening, I wasn't feeling well. And we went to the emergency room, I had two seizures, and I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Um, again, there's a whole other video on all of that. Uh, but so currently, just that's just being monitored in my life. I have a functional medicine doctor who is helping me trying to reduce the inflammation in my body, which should help with my diagnosis. But yeah, I have that. I get MRIs every six months just to track it. I had my most recent one about a month ago and there was thankfully no size increase with, with it. Uh, Obviously, the best case scenario is that it goes away completely, but it is inoperable. So at the moment, uh, it's just like what I eat and vitamins and st stuff like that that I can do to help my body kind of reduce the inflammation. So for the most part, I'm not 100% strict about it because I want to enjoy things of life as well. Uh, but for the most part, I don't eat any sugar, as far as artificial sugars, um, I eat fruits, vegetables, um, stuff like that, but I really try to minimize the amount of sugar I'm intaking. Um, what else? As far as this channel goes, it will be kind of broad as far as the things I'm sharing you can probably tell if you go back into my past videos I love interior design I'm not doing it professionally at the moment and I don't know if I ever will just because at least for me once I had my son I can't imagine going back to work and having somebody else basically raise him for the day if you're if that's what you're doing that is totally fine everyone can raise their children their own way as of right now um, unless I could find some sort of uh, work from home interior design position uh, that just doesn't seem like something I'll be going back a field I'll be going back into anytime soon never say never but at the moment my focus is to just be home with my son uh, my husband and his brother and then a third partner are now our partners in uh an outdoor lighting company and it's called music city outdoor lighting since we're in the nashville area so he does that full time uh which is how uh you know that's just how we have our our income i guess is why i'm just trying to say that um, so yeah, I'm able to be at home at the moment and just be a mother and and all that. Um, I'm still in that phase of, since we're still in the newborn phase, I'm still kind of like trying to figure out how to balance being a mom and being a wife while still trying to do something, some sort of work that's for me um, and that's kind of where YouTube comes in it's not necessarily income producing by any means but it's something for me to do that's just my own little thing so as far as video content that I'll be sharing it will be like homemaking um, I love decor for holidays and stuff like that so I didn't do Christmas videos this year because um, at the time our son was three weeks old so I was on limited sleep in general plus uh, I started to film the day we started decorating and it was just a little bit overwhelming with how much attention he needed and it was just easier for me to not focus on filming and just like just decorating our home but that will be something I do in future videos excuse my burp and I'm also trying to focus on um, being realistic I feel like there's a lot of um, 
content creators, influencers, what have you, that I follow. And I just feel like when I follow them it, and see their homes and stuff, it just doesn't seem super realistic. As far as it's like their houses are always spotless, um, their their lives seem perfect, and even if they tell you that they're not, it just, I understand the balance of like having some privacy, but then like wanting to say that things aren't perfect. So I'm gonna try to find a balance of also not not sharing everything because there are certain things that are just supposed to be within like a home or just you know personal but I'm not trying to act like our houses are perfect or always spotless and just to like show you what that looks like for me right now my camera is on my dining table which is full of laundry and a bunch of paperwork and stuff my living room has baby toys all over it the only thing that looks relatively clean is the kitchen behind me and I was gonna sit in the living room but the window right here was making me a ghost so I just couldn't as far as like logistically to film a video but just to show you I'm trying to be as like authentic and I guess relatable uh, as as possible let me just show you what what's going on around Literally towels, laundry that needs hung up, laundry that needs folded, laundry in the laundry room that is getting dried and washed, a living room with baby things and dogs, and truly I think the only thing that's actually clean in my house is the kitchen, even our room, my bed isn't made, which I usually make every day, like most days I guess I should say. Um, but yeah, I just want to be, I want to create content that's relatable re and realistic, but authentic to me. I'm not going to <clears throat> create videos just to get views. I'm going to just share things that I like to share. Um, so yeah, there'll be decor, um, homemaking, organization. I love organization hacks um, and then also this year my goal was to become it was kind of like um, two-sided or like two reasons I wanted I want to become more minimalistic um, which in general I'm pretty good about getting rid of things as far as like if I like clothes I wasn't wearing I was I'm pretty good about that but I took even a step further this year um, and I guess it all kind of stemmed back from when we moved because it, when you move across the country you really realize the things you don't need. So my general rule is if I haven't used it in a year just donate or sell it. Uh, if I have duplicates of it, donate or sell and kind of go from there. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, just yesterday I donated two uh, bags of stuff that I just didn't need. Um, we took that to Goodwill. Um, I have more stuff in the back that I'm trying to sell, but if it doesn't sell soon, I'm just going to donate it as well. But yeah, so that'll be a part of my channel. And I'm not saying I am minimalist, because if you look around our house, it's definitely not a minimalist house, but it is more minimalistic. And is that the word minimalistic? Yeah, I think so. Uh, even like in our kitchen, I started just putting things that were on typically on the counter. I put them in cabinets kind of figured that out just so it visually looks cleaner which is less I'm the type of person that like if things if there's clutter everywhere there's just things out of place or if it just visually looks messy even though it's not uh, it really kind of stresses me out so the, the cleaner things can look for my brain the better um, 
so I do try to keep things tidy, but I'm not gonna say my house is always clean. That's just so unrealistic and that would just be a lie. Um, but I also do love like home projects. Our dining table, we built it ourselves. I tried to make a video of it. I filmed everything, edited everything. And when I went to export it, it was like, it kept failing. I think it's because the video was so big that it kept just crashing. So probably I'll never see that video, but stuff like that I do love, like refinishing pieces. Yeah, I definitely have a farm or like a modern farmhouse um, style meets mid-century modern style so like some of the furniture in our room is mid-century modern a lot of the stuff out here is like modern farmhouse or just straight up farmhouse but i'm trying to find a balance uh, of that stuff as well and then i'll share videos of just like what we're doing as far as things with uh with ellis things we do around the nashville area uh, we don't really go downtown f very often. Uh, we did just recently with, while my sister was in town, but um, we definitely don't take advantage of that as much as we should. But um, yeah, if we do do something fun like that, I might make, make a video of that stuff. So yeah, there's not going to be necessarily like one aspect of the stuff I share on here. Just It's just going to be pretty broad. But I just wanted to share this video just so you had a sense of what I will be sharing. Um, give you like things, I guess, to look forward to, things to expect, stuff like that. Um, yeah. So if you have any, um, I guess, video suggestions or... Um, things that you want to see my Kroger order is happening that's one thing about me I hate people loathe it with a passion grocery shopping so I whenever possible because you have to have a $35 minimum order whenever possible I do Kroger delivery um, because that's just just what works best for me I don't know if anyone else hates grocery shopping but I really do my sister-in-law loves it and I just cannot understand that mentality I wish I liked it because that'd be like a nice reason to get out of the house but it really is just the worst and I think part of that is because I don't like cooking uh, I'm not like a foodie some people live to eat others eat to live I am the eat to live person I've said this before and my brother-in-law is flabbergasted by this if I could just take like a vitamin or something that you know gave me everything I needed for the day to be full and um, you know all the vitamins and nutrients I needed from food if I could just take in a vitamin form I would I enjoy certain things but if I didn't have to eat I really probably wouldn't so that's why I think I don't like grocery shopping because I don't like cooking because I don't really care about food that much yeah any who uh, I think I was saying this before but if you have any video ideas or things you want to see or stuff like that uh, please share down below I love to hear just your ideas or yeah things you want to want to see um, doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to do it because I'm not going to create a video that isn't like authentic to me. But if you're like, how do you have your bathroom organized? I can definitely share that. How do you have your son's room laid out? Stuff like that. I'm more than happy to share stuff like that. That's like genuine to me. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this little get to know me video. If you did, please like, please subscribe. I'm very excited about uh, where this channel's going and just creating more fun things just to share. Um, yeah, and I love having someone likes people to actually share it with. I, I like doing it in general. 
even when I was just sharing it and it was like five subscribers, one view. I still really liked it because it's something for me to do that brought me joy and it was a creative outlet. But having people watching it and giving feedback um, makes it just more exciting. Like it makes it just more, yeah, like more fun to do. Uh, yeah, so anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.